This is an area about four hours away from home that neither of us had been to. A beautiful valley hidden deep in these mountains. Welcome back to Unwinding Roads. My name is Teddy. Today I am with Sean from the Story Tell Now. I got the unwinder right behind him. We're just airing down right now. We're hitting the road. <laughs> We're hitting each other. We're hitting the ground. <laughs> We're gonna hit the ground running. <laughs> so bad. We're actually hitting a trail that was sent to us from our good friend Raymond. We were able to pinpoint a couple of good campsites. I actually brought my kayak with me. We got a couple of fishing rods. We were able to find a lake. This is just gonna be a, a, a great time. Wasn't supposed to go this way when I met you yesterday. Sean's ram is built up on 40s but it's currently only two-wheel drive. He does have low range in the rear locker, and we were warned, like many times before, that we would not make it. This time, they were right. We did have to turn back. Timber! Smooth like butter. The trail started off as expected. We knew we had some steep switchbacks coming up. And that would be the deciding factor of whether or not we would be able to continue. I just stabbed myself in the leg too. It's just this part's gonna be. That's gonna be hard to get. Yeah, you just gotta get straight up. I think it's doable. All right. If there's a Sean, there's a way. Too low. I'm not so sure how this is gonna go. I was uh, coming up that hill was a little squirrely, that last one. Yeah. And this is like that, but with a corner. Sean's ram needs a new front drive shaft. So we're two wheel drive low. We knew that coming in, but. <laughs> It's part of the fun, I guess. Well, let's see what happens. So airing down a bit more, bigger footprint. Gotta get up this shale rock. We're gonna also get the traction boards out. Hopefully that works. And then we should be good to go. I just buried it immediately. Attempt number one would be the most successful. With every other attempt, Sean would just bury the wheel immediately. Or take a bad bounce, putting him in a dangerous situation. I can't see your front wheel. Are you still good? Yeah, I'm still good. 
Okay, that's good. Now you can straight. Yeah, you're good now. You can just straight straighten your front wheel right up. Okay. I can't even get as far as I got the first time. No. I don't even know why I can't. I aired down more and it got worse. It's like it got more grip, but that means more rocks kicked out. Maybe. I'm wondering if I can get up there, if you can winch to me. But I think you'll just pull me down. I'm gonna take a walk back here and see if there's a good place to turn around. I don't think this is happening. <laughs> Let's take a quick break from being on the trails to thank this video sponsors, which is... Pelsey, the mirror dash cam. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Got the mirror, it's got a protective screen on it. The camera. The rear camera. Oh, well, look at that, it also comes with, looks like double-sided sticky tape so that you can just mount it that way. That makes life easy, doesn't it? This is for GPS, cigarette plug. Very simple. And this is your mounting hardware, and they even send you a memory card for it. Let's get it installed. Installation is extremely easy. I'm very impressed with the picture quality. So much so that all the dash cam footage in this video was taken on the Pelsey 4K dash cam. It's 12 inches, but it's um, it's up out of the way. It looks pretty good. Can't complain about that. All right, let's plug it in. So that's actually the backup camera or the camera that's on the back that I just mounted on there. And it's pretty cool. Looks pretty good. Oh, you can move the camera up and down, it looks like. Very nice feature. Here we go, this is what I like to see. 4K. Loop recording, one minute. Let's do two minutes. Off. Off. Sound recording on, timestamp. Off. Okay. So there's the dash cam 4K. It's looking pretty good. So to get the, from front cam to rear cam, or the other way around, you basically just swipe over. Real nice and easy. So I am back from the trip that you're watching right now, and I've gotten to know the dash cam pretty well. So here's my kayak. I still have it set up on there. How this works is you just touch the screen, and that lock button there will save your videos into a separate folder, a locked folder. So as you're driving around, you wanna save something, you just hit that button, and when you get home, you pull out your SD card, it'll be in a separate folder. Very simple to use, I really like it. One of the negative things about this is, with the Gladiator anyway, the driver's side sun visor does hit it, which sucks. The passenger side doesn't, but the driver's side does. One of the cool features about it is there's a button on the bottom and this button here literally turns it into a mirror. How cool is this? Check it out. It is literally a mirror. <laughs> What's up? That's pretty cool. Very nice feature. Having that rear camera was really nice. I was able to keep an eye on my kayak and it did actually get loose at one point. I was able to see that in my rear view mirror, which is awesome. Pull over and get it strapped down properly. I literally just double-sided sticky taped that camera and just ran the wire. Literally just ran the wire down through here, into here, <laughs> up top. I'm not going to give a rating out of 10 for this particular product because it is a dash cam. I mean, if I were to give it one, it'd be a 10 because it's, it does everything you'd want it to do. I had no issues with it crashing or anything like that. So it's a very nice product, very happy with it. Check the link in the description if you're looking to get yourself a dash cam either for your Gladiator or something else. Thank you very much, Pelsey, for sending me this dash cam. Let's get back to the trail. <laughs> it's a wheel drive ram. No good. We're gonna head back down this shale hill backwards, which is also gonna be sketchy. Here we go. Section sucks. Did you get past the logs? 
Yeah, it's like a controlled gradual slide. <laughs> This is sketchy, look at it. Got a, you got a cliff right here. That's always fun. So that's straight. And that's down. Sure is beautiful though. So as I'm backing up this hill, backing up this hill, <laughs> backing down this hill, I got, uh, well right now I have a hand on the GoPro, but I have one hand on the shifter, just in case I start sliding, I'm gonna put it into drive and try to go forwards instead of just slamming on the brakes. When you get into a slide, you don't wanna be sliding with your brakes locked. All right, sketchy section. Please hold. So to give you an idea of what we're dealing with, 13 degrees down, 12 degrees off camber. It's really not a big deal, unless you're backing down and it's loose shale. <laughs> Well, we found camp. Just barely. You can probably hear the uh, river beside us. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Sean had a great night in the uh, air, no, the trail b, &B. <laughs> I had a great sleep in the cab of my truck. I can't stretch out, but it works. Craziest thing happened last night, check this out. This tree fell, landed on the trail b, &B broke into a million pieces. Sean's fine, everything is okay, survived the night. <laughs> Plan A did not work. That's the beauty of Onyx Off-Road. You can just jump on there, find another place to go, which we did, and we're gonna try to get to it. I don't know when exactly it happened, but I know it was recent. I have become a completely different person out here. I find myself at peace, smiling around every bend, realizing every day is a blessing. Hitting the dirt road, exploring with my friend, taking in the views while excited to see our destination. It really doesn't get better than this.
Well, here we go again. We have found ourselves on a tight trail <laughs> with loose rock. Uh, luckily, it's not shale rock, so we should uh, be able to get some traction. Here we go. Let's see if we can get through this part. The steep hill climbs didn't let up. Sean became good friends with his skinny pedal. And what he couldn't finesse through, he just powered through. With very limited spots to turn around, we just kept pushing forward. This nasty hill climb that I can't film because uh, it gets tiring. Look at that, I'm already stuck. All right, four wheel drive it is. Here we go. All right. I was worried about Sean taking this turn, so I was watching my uh, driver's side mirror. And check it out. A bunch of logs fell down as I was taking the turn, and I almost DB'd it, almost took out my fender. Luckily, from experience, I stopped. We're going to have to cut this one. Keep going. 
keep going. Keep going. Okay, now I'm trying going super hard passenger. Oh. Deal with it. to the lake we're set up we got lucky there's only one campsite here and uh, there was a couple that was already here but they're heading out after lunch so it's our spot now <laughs> let's get the fly rod set up and see what it's all about I have no idea what I'm doing all right so as my first fly rod recommended by fly fisher 530 thank you Mike that's who recommended it. So thanks Mike for that. Went out and got one. Sean got the same one. Get our rods out. Let's get our rods out. <laughs> My favorite part is the fluorescent green string. I bet that's what every newbie says. Yeah. What do we do first? I don't know, we gotta get the line out. I was trying to figure this out. Okay, hold on a second. Before you guys are all laughing at me, I gotta tell you. I've been fishing my whole life, never fly fished, ever. So spinning reels, bait casters, I understand all that stuff. This is a whole new thing, like this fly line, why is it so bright? I'm used to like, you know, I guess what the tippet would be on here. Clear, undetectable by the fish. Do I just cut this? I'm just gonna cut it. Your other end? Go, 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 go. Whoa, this feels crazy. I've always heard that fish feel bigger on the, on the fly line. I, I can see why. That's crazy. I'm going over there and I'm casting. Let's go. So those of you that are uh, good at this, please do give me tips. It's gonna be cool if we can get a fish, brand new to fishing, or uh, fly fishing anyway. If we can get a trout on a brand new lake with a brand new rod, <laughs> with a brand new skill, that's gonna be pretty fun. Okay, watch out. Things are happening. Whoa, that feels crazy. Yeah, but it's not going anywhere. It's just staying right here. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Dude, I am for pro. Okay, I'm, I can fly fish. Okay, how do you do the roll one? Like this? Dude, can you just like let me do one first before you start doing other roll loopy casts? That didn't work at all. Oh, whoa, I did it! I did too, watch this. You did do it. So I knew like every other type of fishing, losing lures and getting tangled would be part of it. What I didn't expect was to get hit on one of my first casts ever. Immediately after getting tangled on this dock. No! What's the trick to set in the hook, boys? Oh my gosh, I missed him again. I think I just lost my fly. Yep, I did. Kayak time. I need a chair. Chair. All right, now I just gotta get out there. Fish on, boys. Whew. Nice size trout. This is quite the fight <laughs> on a fly rod. <laughs> I'm not used to this at all. I can see it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. It's a nice size trout. 
Jeez, what a fight. Oh, no. <laughs> nice jump. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yes. Woo! Nice size rainbow. Woo! Look at that. What a beauty. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna let you go now, right? You look like you're ready to rock. <laughs> All right, see you later. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> First trout on a fly. Got another one, boys. <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow! Wow! Jeez! I got a. Oh, man. That thing took off. Beautiful rainbow. Oh, this one looks like it's been in a couple of scraps. There we go. Yes! Woo! Beautiful rainbow. Look at the back on this guy. Wet hands. Beautiful fish. Look at the markings on this bad boy. <laughs> Off she goes. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful fish. All right, buddy. I'm going to let you go, okay? Nice. Took off nice and fast. Oh, man, this is fun. Hat trick. First day on the fly. Woo! Another one? Sure did. I saw him jumping out here and I just cast it and hammered him. Look at that. Oh no. <laughs> he got away. <laughs> there he goes. That was crazy. <laughs> what fly are you using right now? Can't tell you. It's top secret. I'll tell you, no cameras. Dude. Awesome day. Awesome day. Wheeling, fishing. Brand new lake, brand new to fishing, and we still got him. Still got him. We crushed it. Well, you got him. You're going to get him. Teddy caught four fish. <laughs> I got nothing. But I had fun. I have trout fished forever, just never fly fished. I have a little bit of an advantage. We're getting spoiled, beautiful sunset, lake, campfire we're gonna get going. Mm -hmm. Right now we gotta eat. Get some steaks going, some potatoes.
good morning. The sun's just starting to come up. I think I'm going to hit the lake. Beautiful out there. It's glass right now. And you know what they say. The early fly catches the fish. This trip will be one I will always remember. My first fly rod, my first time to this lake, my first trout on a fly. But this, I heard what sounded like someone else paddling on the lake. I could see it way out in the distance. It was something. And here, even though it was through a lens over a mile away, we made eye contact. And time stood absolutely still. Well, that does it for this trip. It was a heck of a lot of fun. We're all packed up and ready to head out. Please do like, subscribe for more trips just like this. Merch available in the description down below. And if you want to see more fishing stuff or hunting stuff, join us over at Patreon. Until next time, go away, get lost, and unwind. And unwind. Oh, you already said that. <laughs>